I heard you kids like Pax. What's going on guys? Today's video is going to be on, you guessed it, Vintage Mystery Packs. If you didn't have enough Mystery Packs from my other video, this video is going to have new ones. These I did not pick off, off of eBay though. I got them on Instagram. So the person I got them from Instagram, his name or her, I actually don't know, is Vintage Pokemon Packs. They do custom and vintage Pokemon Packs. There's a hollow rare in every pack. No energy, trainer cards, just heat per his bio that I'm gonna pop up right here. <laughs> so I messaged him privately and said, hey, your vintage packs look awesome. Can I have two, but can you include two hollows in it? So they messaged me back right away and said, no problem. So a couple of days later, we received these two vintage packs. They are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. I like the, how they're set up. There is no like rip. You actually have to cut it. So. Without any more delay to this video, because I've been dying to get into these. I've had them for about a week now, and I've been dying to cut them open and see what's inside, and see if they're really vintage packs. So, we're going to get to it. So, let's slice and dice. And then I chop off the tips of the cards, and I start crying and weeping. And look, I didn't even cut it good enough. Okay. Round two. Fight. Finally, it is open. So let's see what is inside. I don't know if the hollow rare is in the front or what the case may be, but I do want to keep the packs. I, I like them a lot. So let's see. Okay, so they're all sleeved. So I pick I open them the right way. So as you see, they're in pretty good condition. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. So let's flip it around and see. Alright, so we have some E series here. We have a mill tank, a geodude. A Misty Seal. They are classic cards. I'll give them that. Monchoke base set. Lieutenant Surge Electrode. Nice. Which I think is a rare? No, it is not a rare. A Dodrio. A Persian. A Starmie, which this is the rare. As you can see by the star on the bottom. And then we have a Mr. Mime Jungle. Okay, not too bad. And a Vile Plume. E-reader card. This is pretty awesome. I knew there was two hollows in here, so I'm pretty happy with these two. I'm going to be popping up some prices on screen as usual, so I'm pretty happy. That That is pretty cool. And the Vile Plume is in pretty awesome shape as well. All right, now, because I am a savage, let's get to the second pack. Let's slice and dice again, and hopefully cut my Pokemon cards in half, and see what happens. I love these mystery packs. I love leaving things up to chance. And look, I don't know how to use a pair of scissors because I was never taught it in elementary school, apparently. So, I'm a grown man who cannot use scissors. And I, th I, th I think that's a problem. Personally, I, I think that's a pretty big problem. So, it's open now. We'll do the same as before. Open it this way. Since the rares, not the rares, the hollows are in the back. All right, so we have a Sabrina's Ghastly. Let's see. A Ponyta, base set. A Starmie, e-reader. And I love that they put all the e-readers in penny sleeves. A Squirtle, Rocket. A Grimer from Legendary Collection, there you go. A Sea King from base set two, who's also in plastic. Parasect, a Gold Duck, a Magneton, which is the rare. So the next one should be a Hollow. We have a Koga's Ditto. I'll definitely take a Kogos, 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 Kogos. I can't speak. Koga's Ditto any day. And the last one is a Erica's Venusaur. Wow, that is awesome. That is so cool. Look at the. It's not even in that bad of shape. There's a little whiting down here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And a little up top. But other than that, wow, that is an awesome card to pull. That is so damn cool. That is really, really cool. So once again, guys, he asked me to please, or she, I, I really didn't ask if it was a boy or a girl, and I really regret not doing so. 
they asked me to tell you guys that if you do buy a pack, it's one hollow per pack. This was a custom pack. I asked him to put two hollows or her two hollows <laughs> in the pack. So normal packs from them run about $14.99. So these packs were custom. They were a little bit more. I paid $25 or $26. I'll, I'll confirm that on screen. But I got this awesome Erica's Venusaur. This is so cool. This is really so cool. So just a quick recap, guys. I'm just going to go over the cards again. Let me just take out the hollows. Bioplume E-Reader. That is so awesome. Mr. Mime Jungle. That's another awesome card. And it's an awesome condition. I mean, for the age, it is excellent. Koga's Ditto. Also in excellent condition. And an Erica's Venusaur. This card definitely takes the cake for me. I love the original starters. And, you know, I've been a fan since I've been very young. So this card is sick. It is sick. And he deserves his own podium. And yes, he is a boy, even though he's Erica's. Just because she's a girl doesn't make him a girl. He is a boy and he is awesome. So, guys... The next thing we're going to do is our segment. What the fuck is in the mail? We have a giant round boy. So let, let's check him out. He is a Rowlet, which is one of my newer favorite Pokemon. And he is from Bon Presto. So he was available in the Pokemon Center in Japan. I had to pick him up online. And let's break him open because I've been dying to. He is so adorable. I want to see him and have him out and around. So if you guys watch the show, this badge right here is from the Ultra Guardians, which Ash is a part of, as well as the other members or children of Alola that are in the Pokemon school. They are the Ultra Guardians. So this is to signify him being in the Ultra Guardians, which is awesome. The toy or plush, I should say, is very well made. Look, he doesn't sink. He can sit up on his own. Here's the little tag with him and Poplio on the front. It would be cool if they included Litten as well, but it's probably just a... because they made one of him and one of Poplio, both in the Ultra Guardians. And let's see inside the tag if there's anything. And I believe there is something inside this tag. So let's check it out. Let's check it out together. But yes, this is Ban Presto. There are a lot of knockoff Rowlet toys out there. And I personally didn't want a knockoff. I wanted a real Bon Presto Rowlet. So some more tape on this tag. I didn't know I was going to be using the scissors so much today. But good thing I have them. So there's a QR code there. I have no idea what it does. And if it does something, you guys can have it. All right. So there is absolutely no information on here for me because I do not speak Japanese and I do not speak QR code. So I'm not going to scan the QR code. If it had some relevance to the TCG game, enjoy it. But I doubt it. But yeah, I'm very happy with my Rowlet. He is so cute. And I love him very much. He is a round boy and awesome okay guys so that's going to wrap it up for this video um once again look at my round boy i love him so much he is so awesome so cool i do love plushies a lot come on i want to get him in the shot put him down here put him up here put him on my how about put him on my shoulder that could be the thumbnail look at that so i love my little round boy uh he is very awesome once again thank you to pokemon mystery packs i'm going to put a link to his page in the description below uh, so you guys can go check him out. He's definitely, or her, god damn it, I can't, I, I don't know if it's a him or her. So, go check him out. Check them out, how about that? You can go check them out and grab a mystery pack and see what you get out of it. I mean, that Erica's Venusaur blew my mind. Such an awesome card, such a cool card. And if I had to say it, absolutely worth it. Nostalgia factor, cool old cards, even the basic cards, and the cool hollows that I received were awesome! They were so cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Please subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.